Hey there, Sharon Ryan here. Welcome to day 2183 of What You Have to Know. Just documenting my journey as I transitioned from the brick and mortar corporate world of business in 2017 to the online world of business. And in 2020, with the pandemic and everything back and forth again, I like to keep my feet in both the online and the offline world, as well as my fingers and my businesses in both. Why? Because there's advantages to being involved in both, as we saw tenfold in 2020 and 2021. So today in this year's annual challenge, the Let's Grow Annual Challenge, we're talking about different possible growth frameworks. And we're talking about the growth mindset today. So I share different characteristics and different principles or beliefs that are associated with growth mindset. And we're going to probably incorporate some of those into our process for dealing with growth going forward. And this year's challenge, we're looking at a bunch of different frameworks to take the bits and pieces, just like we did last year with goals. We looked at like 15 or 20 different frameworks last year or processes. A framework is just a process, right? For dealing with goals. And we came up with our own seven step goal process. And this year we're going to do the same thing. I don't know how many steps it's going to be yet. We haven't come up with it yet. We're still looking at different frameworks, but we're going to pick and choose and we're going to create a process for growth that works for us that we can apply to all the different areas and aspects of our life. Then we're going to do it repeatedly, installed in our subconscious, like we've done in other challenges, the SOAP framework, which is for dealing with changes and challenges or setbacks or obstacles, as well as last year's goal process and other processes and tools that we use a lot so that you've always got them available at your fingertips. Have no idea what the graphics on this particular filter for Facebook say. Sorry about that. I thought I took them off. Apparently, I don't know how to do that technologically. Facebook's always making changes. I record on Facebook Live because it's quick and easy for me, and I have visual challenges. So I do what's quick and easy and familiar for me personally to make things work. That's what we have to all do. We have to take what works for us and apply that over and over and over again. And so I use Facebook, and Facebook changed all of their filters. They're changing things about every two weeks. Facebook changes something that impacts the way I do things, which for somebody that's that's legally blind, it's really a pain in the derriere. But guess what? It's just the way it is, so we figure out how to move beyond it. I used to get super frustrated by it, and I'm like, okay, why am I wasting any energy and time being frustrated about something that is 100% outside of my control? So I stopped doing that, and now I'm just like, okay, well, this happened. I think the beginning of the year something happened, but I had COVID, so I didn't care. I just did what I could do. And I didn't worry about the things that I couldn't do, which is probably part of a growth mindset, right? Control what we can control, learn what we can learn and move forward and be resilient, right? So we talked about different characteristics of a growth mindset. For Supersize Your Business, we're doing the top 20, in my past experience, business supersizing strategies. And Today is day 18, so I've got two more days to come up with, but what am I going to do after that? And if you've got any ideas for me, hit me up. You know, I don't know, maybe we'll do a a 30-day Supersize Your Business Challenge or something every day. I haven't, I haven't decided yet, but I'll think of something. Uh, but today's was continuous innovation and the four steps. I'm doing four steps for each of them to keep it simple and say, okay, if you're not using the strategy, if you've never considered this strategy, here are four steps that you could implement or do quickly and easily a quick and dirty test of, is this strategy right for you? You could just take one little piece of your business and say, okay, maybe in this division, we are continuously innovative. I think of companies that are innovative and, and more or less, uh, depending as time goes on, I always think of 3M, Minnesota Mining and Manufacturing, as an extremely innovative company and creative and love ideas and, and implementing them. Uh, although I, I don't know how much that is true today. That was always their foundation, uh, but I'm not sure how true that is today. Um, anyway, so that was our our strategy for today. I don't know what tomorrow is. We got a couple more. I just made a quick list of my top 20, and then what are the four steps to implement this to test it for your business to see if it's something that you could benefit from this year, right? Any one of these strategies could be applied. I like the ones that we have 100% control over more than the ones that we depend on outside uh, sources or resources or influences or impactors uh, of our business because we don't control all of those variables. So that's it today. If I can help you in any way, hit me up and ask. Otherwise, still catching up uh, from being sick at the end of last year, beginning of this year. So uh, dang COVID, I had avoided it. The whole family had avoided it up until uh, 
this year really, I mean, we ha we believe that we had COVID before it was officially COVID at the end of 2019, beginning of 2020. But you know, the media hadn't told us that it's COVID yet, therefore it couldn't possibly be COVID. All right, I'm being facetious, of course. If I can help you in any way, ask. You can always hit me up. You can direct message me. You can comment on any one of my videos and I will see it and find it and answer your question. I like when people comment because if you've got a question, chances are other people do as well. So why not spread the wisdom, spread the knowledge, share the information with everybody. Have an awesome day. I'll of course be with you tomorrow without weird foreign language subtitles.